senior high principal, Mr. John Craig, to dedicate tonight's show. Good evening. Nearly 10 years ago, more than 3,000 innocent people lost their lives in a calm September morning was shattered by terrorism, driven by destruction, and a malicious plot. On that day, and in its aftermath, we saw the greatness of America and the bravery of victims. In the heroism of first responders who laid down their lives to save others. In the compassion of people who stepped forward to help those they had never met. And in the generosity of millions of Americans who enriched our country with acts of service and kindness. Since that day, we have seen the greatness of America further demonstrated in the courage of our brave men and women in uniform who have served and sacrificed in areas around the world to advance freedom and prevent terrorist attacks of America. Nothing was more visible in those heartbreaking days than the stars and stripes of the American flag flying high and low. After September 11, 2001, the flag's significance deepened as it was planted amid the rubble at ground zero. And nearly every home honorably anchored the flag on their front porch or proudly drove it into the front lawns. The visibility of the flag and what it represents should be no less important than that as we approach the 10 year anniversary. Please join me in a brief moment of silence. Now, presenting your North Hills High School Fighting Union Marching Band, the band of pride, tradition and excellence, led on the field by drum major Evan Perez.
Tonight, we celebrate the 50th anniversary of our march show, featuring pieces by the March King, John Philip Sousa. We continue our celebration with the counter melodies of low brass, along with the bass and trumpet calls while the band marches the traditional counter march through the thunder.